Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney, coming at you this Tuesday afternoon from where else? The balcony here at the New York Stock Exchange, and I'm in a great mood. No, not just because it's beautiful outside, but yes, because the Mets are in sole position of first place. So you know what that means, right? It's time to celebrate. Grab yourself a drink, kick back, relax, because it's that time. It's happy hour here in the Big Apple. Now it's a Tuesday afternoon and U.S. stocks struggling for direction as investors take in a slight recovery in oil prices following yesterday's massive plunge. And talking of energy, that's exactly where we're going to begin this report. Energy stocks rebounding from yesterday's sell-off that saw Brent oil prices fall below $50 a barrel for the very first time since the end of January. Also contributing to the drop has been OPEC as OPEC's oil output reached the highest monthly level in recent history in the month of July. In addition, production could rise even further if Iran achieves a plan to raise output by 500,000 barrels per day as soon as sanctions are lifted against the nation. So far, crude oil futures for September delivery this afternoon over at the New York Mercantile Exchange last up 87 cents, 46 dollars 4 cents a barrel. Now on the economic data front, June factory orders making some news today showing an increase of 1.8 percent and when you team that with the U.S. dollar edging higher with the euro near a dollar 950 and gold futures for December delivery up about a dollar 50 to still remain below 1100 a troy ounce, then you have yourself a session right behind me here at the New York Stock Exchange where three stocks have advanced for every two decliners. Let's now take a look to see how the markets are shaping up to close out this mostly flat, at the same time volatile trading session. And on the corporate front, we first had to talk about Apple extending losses this afternoon to plunge more than 3% as the iPhone maker's stock is in correction territory after plunging below its 200-day moving average yesterday. Also of important note, Regeneron Pharmaceuticals jumping to an all-time high level after, the soundly after soundly topping estimates on both the, the top and the bottom line as well. And as you can tell, I'm getting a little nervous because you know what time it is. It's time for my outro. I'm nervous because for the first time in a very long time, the New York Mets are dominant and in sole position, first place, sole possession of the position of first place. And let me tell you something, the way it's going, the New York Yankees are number one in the AL East, the New York Mets number one in NL East. I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but I think I might be smelling 15 years later a Subway series in a Megan. Ooh, how much I'd love that. And with that stated, from ModernWallStreet.com saying, let's go Mets, I'm James Swinney.